Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Phil, the Mile High Mouth, and today um, we're testing this thing. Actually, I was a little interested in, um, you know how like the thing with the, um, the, the Switch 2 or Nintendo Switch Pro or whatever they want to call that new system that they're working on? Now, the big thing with that was that there was a, uh, there was the Matrix Awakens demo supposedly running on that, right? Now, that was running at 4K, etc. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if this can run on, well, the least, pow one of the least powerful uh, next-gen uh, essential uh, consoles out there. So, this is the Matrix Awakens Unreal Engine 5 experience running at 1080p, 60 frames a second, on an Xbox Series S. That's the uh, all-digital one, right? I was like, this might be a little bit closer to um, what we... I mean, what we might get from the Nintendo Switch 2, or whatever they want to call it. Similar to this, it may or may not look better. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to check this out, see how it looks. Okay. Mess around with these a little bit. Oh, I can turn off the matrix filter here, which I'm going to do. You can turn, you can turn the tra traffic and crowd on or off. And you can mess around with like instances, primitives, material ID, etc. Oh my gosh, triangles. Huh. Let's go default. You can move these around a bit. You can also uh, simulate where the sun is. It's kind of neat. I'll put that back to 210, I guess. Yeah. I like how that looks. Like, it looks realistic. If you're looking at this, you're probably watching it. Um, this will, The max I'm putting this up to is 1080. This is running at 1080p60, essentially. Yeah. You have, like, the... None... Exposure compensation. You can take pictures if you want. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's close that out. Let's just walk around a little bit. But yeah, this is um the demo that they said that they were running, and this is it running at on the least powerful commercially available thing. I mean, this is 1080p60, and, uh, hmm, I feel like this is about right, actually. I mean, I'm looking at this, and, like, this reminds me of how, like, some things look on the Switch. Well, it could look like this. I mean... If those things were true that people were talking about, this would be quite interesting. Yeah. And no reflections on there. But not bad. I mean, if the Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever gets a uh, reasonable performance that's like this or slightly better, then yeah. That, that's worth it. Definitely. What we're going to do, though, is we're just going to kind of run around a little bit. God, I love those. Look at that. And look at that lighting. <laughs> you can see, like, the lighting and the puddles and such. All that stuff happening. That's not bad. Nope, not bad at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You find the perfect fat pet, they find the perfect home. Good boy. Hmm. You can see, like, reflections and stuff. I don't know. I'm not gonna... I'm not 
going to even pretend to be like Digital Foundry or anything like that. Be like, well, look at the vertices and the triangles and the uh, light sources. Uh, like, look at that water. That water may be a little dry, but it's it's still water. It's nice water. <laughs> I kind of fully expect like stuff to look a little bit similar to that. I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure that if the Nintendo Switch successor can do this, at least, or something similar to this, at least, that'll be good. What are we going to use it for? We don't know. Oh, altitude up. I like how that looks like it really does look like a like um ocean field. Yeah, it really oh perfect brew, perfect corner cup. Look at that. Like, the way this is set up, you have, like, a dynamic city that kind of, like, when you pass by these windows, know how stuff, like, moves with them. A lot of empty spots, but you get the idea. Generally, I think that this is about, like, where I... This is about how I expect stuff to look like on the uh, Switch 2. I expect something... I mean, I don't expect stuff to look like this right away. I expect stuff to look like maybe PS4 or at most, like, S Xbox Series S. PS4, Xbox Series S, this type of thing. I mean, look at this. This is perfectly acceptable. And I would be happy to see something like this. Especially in, like, a... Um, a hybrid thing where you've got something like this but you can you have it in your on that little eight that eight inch screen you know what I mean the eight inch LCD screen I mean you're looking at this too right look at that like you look at these you're like look at the scrolling and such Brazilite. Uh, hitting trees. We could turn uh, turn down all the traffic, but I like having the traffic there. Hmm. Mm, let's see these people. Follow them around a little bit. Pew. We're walking. Jogging. <laughs> People didn't pick up their trash. That's a shame. But yeah. I think that's going to be pretty cool. I mean, let's take like a look at that, right? You look at this here. You can see it kind of updating. <coughs> yeah, you see that happening. <clears throat> look at that. Let's fly in between these buildings a bit. That is quite nice. You can see into this person's apartment. And it looks good. Well, there's a lot of samey stuff, but whatever. It's very similar to what you see in, like, say, Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. Things like that. 
well, yeah. You look at this graphic-wise, I'm like, okay, can how can this be made fun? What can you do with this to make it creative and fun? Hmm. I expect a lot of uh, early Switch successor games to be um, more stylized. So you're not going to get anything like super hyper-realistic or anything like that. You're going to get more stylized stuff. Because stylized stuff makes it a little, it's a little cheaper. And you can also like, you can do, um, you can do a little bit more with it. Like, in terms of, um, you know, just, uh, size. I mean, look at something like this and compare it to like, say, Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Imagine if you had that, that this kind of field of view on those. I mean, they stylize them enough that you kind of do. I mean, it works within that. I mean, the underground in Tears of the Kingdom is doing so much stuff, hiding so much information from the player, so that to help with like loading and stuff like that. But if you have a little bit more horsepower to mess around with that, you could have some like. Pretty nice little, um, like for example, let's take a look at this ramen shop over here, right? Artemis Framing Ramen Shop. Okay, let's look at this architecture, right? These would look great inside, like, um, oh look, there's even a lock on there. But yeah, this would look, that would look great, like some of this architecture would look great inside like a Legend of Zelda game or something. Or, if they did something like, say, Astral Chain 2. Or you go back to this with something like um, Bayonetta 1, 2, 3. Yeah. I can't go up any of these stairs, sadly. But as far as the simulation goes, this is pretty good. So, this is about where I expect... Um, Nintendo's next system to to be in terms of um, power. What is that? I want to see. What is that? Wait, are those birds? Oh my gosh, they are. There's birds. Nice. I'm a bird. Look at that. Anywho, um, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I just wanted to leap into this to just rant a little bit about what I think the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be like. I think if this is what they're trying, they're apparently showing off to like explain the system to people or show kind of its um, power output then we can ex we can reasonably expect it to be similar. Um, it may or may not look as good or it may look slightly worse or slightly better. We don't know. We don't know until we have like full specs. But we can get kind of an idea. And I feel like the uh, if this is kind of the idea that we're looking for, when it comes to the next Nintendo Switch or Nintendo system, then I think the future looks good. Bonk. Boof. Huh. Okay. It kicked me off the highway. Oh well. Look at these people. I'm gonna push them around. God, that looks good. Let's take a look at this bank. Fentica Bank. <laughs> that's that's pretty great. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think the uh, Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be comparable to this in terms of graphics? 
Let me know in the comments below what you think, and uh, make sure you hit that like button, share button, that subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you know if I whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.